So you said you went to the liquor store to pick up Sam Porter Bridges. I went I went to the liquor store to pick up some gifts. And okay. I got myself some porters while I was there. Or um, I was trying to, but there weren't that many porters. There was mainly stouts and, and like... The, Hoppy the, like, beers. But um, the ones I did find, I was like, oh, there's some bottles of them here. This one's kind of big. Let's get grab these. And I, I got like, I don't know, eight different types. But it turns out that like six of them are like 10% alcohol. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on with these beers? Wait a second. 10%? Are they like... Um... That's like twenty proof. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't know. Do proofs work the same? And I, I'm I'm not trying to be a smart. Why well, I'm I'm being a smart because I was gonna say are proofs the same in, in Canada? And then I was like, you told me the percent. So even if they are, I think percents work the same in Canada. There's no like metric imperial. Oh, we go up to two hundred. <laughs> oh no, we Canada gives one hundred and ten percent when it comes to alcohol content. When it comes to alcohol, yeah, for sure. Hey, folks, welcome back to Let's Play a Super Show Monster Story 2. Or, I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm Sir Fall. We did a little bit of, um, and when I say a little bit, I mean, like, it's the evening where Zerf and I usually record, and I sent Zerf a message on Discord. It's like, hey, are you ready to record? And he wasn't, and we made some, um, I made some <laughs> sexual, uh, innuendos about Sir Paul's <laughs> life and uh and then I went back and, and grinded for so we're, we're talking like 15 minutes or so of uh fighting enemies using frame skip not not drastically changing the game but uh, uh the, the other alternative title for this game of course is a talking show monster <laughs> oh Excuse me. Yeah, no, okay, I've uploaded this video. I don't think I gave it a title or description. So I do need to remember to call one of these a talking cat or a talking show monster. Or... But, you know, the the, the sequel to uh, a talking cat, in my mind, is Santa's Summer House. Because <laughs> it's the same. Um... I'm surprised. It's, well, and the prequel is, of course... Um, Halloween puppy or something like that? Yeah, I am i don't know why Rift Tracks hasn't done that one yet. It might be like even even more unbearable to sit through. Halloween puppy. Halloween puppy. It's, it's got two names. It's one of those, uh, it's called, sorry, it's called sure. Magic Puppy. A ma Wait, there's a tiny, tiny A at the top hidden in the moon. <laughs> It's a magic puppy. It's a magic moon puppy. So it's not the magic puppy. It's just it's not a the magic, magic puppy. puppy. Yeah. Just like a talking cat. There's no exclamation point or question mark, though. That's probably why they haven't watched it. Because if it had that... Yeah, and Tarot Bang would have know. caught their attention. A talking puppy? A magic puppy? really going to be our chance to uh, try to run we could waste a whole turn but you could also just get away no i can't oh, instead of getting it away you got gave it away i mean there's a small chance that he just murders himself when he does that yeah like, I almost think, like, you don't heal your character here because the amount of experience that you're going to lose isn't that much. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to I'm not gonna heal at this point. Because there's a chance he just gives him a heart afterwards and then he gets all his health back. Well, what? Joker. Yeah. I don't even know if he can kill anybody. He can kill my interest in fighting... Uh, yeah, she really doesn't have anything useful to do. She has one damage. If they had any sense, what they would do is... He would deal, like, one damage to everybody that he hits, other than the person who loses all their hit points. That Well, that would actually... They probably 
maybe they shouldn't do that because that would make it really dangerous. That would be something you. <laughs> that no, that's the kind of thing you would do with like a gimmick battle in the like the last dungeon of the game. Yeah, with like a, a mid boss or something. Right. Uh, to that end, like keeping everybody just above critical might be appropriate. No. Here we go. Now, this is about as far as we got before my old laptop exploded. I think we made it just to the end of this. Uh, we did beat this area, this yeah. Section, yeah. But, um... Oh, and she learned a few new things. She has throw, hide, conceal self, and cat punch. I guess we should see that once. It's a varied attack. That's kind of a cute uh, indicator. Power word. The Lord gives me strength. <laughs> and of course, pimps up. Now this guy, one of those guys in combination with the Joker would be a very dangerous. Oh yes. Just busting out. Yeah, but you know what the Joker's him. like. He'd probably be just as likely to kill his minions. Oh, I know, but I mean, just having having this having one of your guys get one HP and then hose down on the same turn. Now, if you had a Joker fighting with Pennywise up on the side, now that'd be dangerous. Fighter gained eighty five X. Okay, so there's nothing down there. But yeah, we did a full explore of this place, which was a bit of a bit of a hassle and it involved some uh, rigmarole. Well, it involved a certain amount of uh, safe stating so that we weren't, so we would like go explore certain avenues and then. Uh, what is the point of that? He turned him into a frogman! I know, but it's like one enemy from this dungeon to another enemy of approximately the same difficulty. That's a one-way door, be careful. Oh, she's got hospice. I might not want her using magic attacks. Ocarina of Time. Oh no, we turn into the child link and then... We have to just roll around to go fast. Hip, hop, hoop, hoop, hip. Can't sleep your way out of this fight. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. It's actually pretty fucking obnoxious for the party of only two. Just saying, I wasn't going to use magic to finish them off, but you know what? Whatever gets it done. Let's do that. Whatever gets it done. Oh, fuck you! Man, you know what? Honestly, there's really only one thing worse than an SNES era JRPG, <laughs> and it's an NES era JRPG. This kind of shit is just so typical of the ones that, uh, didn't make it over to the states because they weren't actually good enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least if you attack a monster and they die, you attack the other one. That's where it's not quite as bad as an NES era one. You know what? We're actually in danger of losing my off screening because I don't know for sure that I uh, save stated. You could always save and then run. I might have so to do that. I mean, this is getting run. this is getting ridiculous. Or ridiculous. Or ridiculous. Imagine, imagine how frustrated we'd be if this was truly. Uh... Well, she's got ocarina nonsense as well. Imagine how bad this would be if it was really original hardware. Yep. Oh come on. It's like a fucking boss fight at this point. Do we have any godly treats? Uh, 
Yeah. But I feel like we just need to hurry up and win this fight. Pose down, that's it. We lose. Although, lose. that was a really sweet death pose we got for Poyon there. Game over, man. Uh, what are my options as far as states to load to? Because that was pretty rough. Yep, this is before I did any of my uh, leveling. And of course, I didn't... Uh, what did I grab? Slot 5 here? This is a mess. I don't even know what slot I threw that uh, mid-battle. There we go. Oh, I think it was number five. <laughs> Do you? Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> Feet don't fail me now. Well, let's throw down a save here anyway. Just uh... So they can't really go anywhere. I mean, so if you go up, because when you push the red button, it doesn't matter where you are, they all go down, right? So if you head Poyon back to the left there, he can close that uh, red door and then... But where does that even get us? Up, up-wise? I thought... Because uh... I, well, I guess you can put Poyon through the red door and then have him step on the blue one up there. Poyon steps on the red door, that path opens in front of us. Which doesn't really do anything. It doesn't do much. But I've, the main if you thing... walk through that... Oh, but you can't walk through that this, in this direction with Poyon because you have to step on the stupid block to do it. Yes. I think this is the you failed path. If you go yeah, the wrong way, is, you end up coming back you, this way. This is how you come stuff. back, yeah. So Poyon might as well step on this freaking... And let, let him through, yeah. Yeah. And we can have the ludicrously high encounter rate. And the enemies we're fighting with our party of four are weaker than the ones that frickin' Poyon and, uh... Well, because they're from a, a higher level up in the dungeon, right? <laughs> weaker enemies, like... I feel like, um... You might as well po use Poyon up both and... the godly treats, because po yeah, when we and... the party... Poyon and Eric Roberts here should not be subject to more difficult combat than our full party. But I guess we can what happens if you walk up kind up? of explore and see is there anything worth doing up here. It seems like there really isn't. No, you're just here to hit... Uh... Yeah. But, I mean, you can just go across where you were and you're still in the new zone. I know, I know. The new zone. Same as the yeah, but, old zone. Oh, I guess it's the same, yeah. So this doesn't matter. There's no treasures. It doesn't seem like there's any treasures for us to get up here. We might be wrong. I remember we went out of our way to get all the treasures, because this is like pretty much the last thing we cleared before um had computer issues before. And it wasn't Oh yeah. We walked so long and pushed so many buttons, but in the end... To explore and get all the optional treasures, and I don't... No, so you don't have to hit that red button. No, I know. I I, you can, I'm just but... clearing out. I'm making sure no one gets killed when that uh, thing slams down. Well, I think the game automatically... Uh, yeah, that's, what the you, old that's what you think. Ho. But what I'm saying is, there weren't like... Oh, I forgot. I didn't think it was literally monsters, but yeah, there weren't really great treasures that we got by doing all this. Jack is dead, only the Joker remains. There's a Jack in my box. Jack in the box is just a Jack in the box. There's no point in making him do that, it's silly. On second thought, let's not go there, it's a silly place. <laughs> and then they made a whole musical about it. 
which I've never seen. Well, a lot of stats went down. I don't think it'll be enough for him to get another turn off, but, um... Each fighter gains 64 X. File and all. Yeah, so we did a bit of save stating. Let's test your theory to make sure that nobody got killed there. Oh, look, there's even a little green uh, jar ahead so that uh, if you get your ass kicked by four of those card guys. Oh, we can't escape. We gotta hit, get hit at least once by Poyan by a Joker, though. Well, you saw what happened there. He, he owned himself. He did himself in. Silly Joker. Tricks are for kids. 200 experience for watching a Joker kill himself. Deal cards improperly. I guess it's everywhere, but I associate this entire clown-themed dungeon <laughs> in all of its forms in this game with take a step, automatically get into an encounter. It's like the freaking Hall of Giants in the Earth Cave in Final Fantasy, but yeah. slightly less dependable. I did it again. He's, he's, he hit himself for 369. Woo! Doesn't take him too long to come. Hey, Joker doesn't kiss and tell. Yeah. Well, maybe the lack of kissing is part of the problem. <laughs> Sorry, folks. You're going to have to tune in to all Extra After Dark for explanations of these jokes. <laughs> That's right, because all the clincher will explain the conversations that Zerfal and I had. <laughs> While playing Leisure Suit Larry 2. He sweats in his sleep, poor guy. You ever, you ever like, has it ever been hot enough where you're at that you uh, woke up sweaty? I mean, I live in the southern tip of Canada. It's further south in the northern part of the main USA. Right. So, yes. The main USA, the contiguous, the lower 48, etc. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> the main U.S. Well, I mean, the main... I like that you said we're further south than the main U.S. And it was like, I think what it's you meant to say was we're further south than Maine. Oh, my U.S. No, Maine, like being the the state that you are further south than. I mean, you're further that's south a, than that's Alaska. That's why there's a comma. Maine, comma, <laughs> United States. So I feel like there's probably, do you feel like I do? I feel like there's probably, um, I feel like there's probably no reason to go this way. And yeah, that's game. what I was about. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I am on a wild goose chase looking for treasures over here. I mean, we've seen stamps hidden in stranger places, but man, can you imagine how much worse our prizes from the stamps are getting as I frame skip? It's like we shouldn't even bother to collect them at this point. Whoa, whoa, no, let's not go there. You mean let's not go here? <laughs> now we gotta like make it now place. we gotta make a decision. <laughs> Which of these places do we wanna go? I'm telling you, here's how we're gonna do it. If it turns out this is the way to get out, then we just mm -hmm. go, oh the other treasure probably sucks. Oh, oh well, the, tre the treasure is just right here, so it still probably sucks, but... It probably does still suck. <laughs> or it'll be really awesome until we get to the next... A silver knife! Ooh, a silver knife? A silver knife? <laughs> wow, that's considerably worse than what we already have. Yeah, but what if the... Oh. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's no universe <laughs> in which this thing is worthwhile. <laughs> There's another green pot up there. Mm. Potter. 
Now I am a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. All right, I guess we're killing you. I mean, fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're just gonna insist on being murdered. We'll fucking do it. And they immediately put us all to sleep and spend the next ten turns continuing to re-put us to sleep. Missed. Miss and a lucky. That's a lucky miss. If we had hit him, he would have countered with an automatic death attack. Yeah, eat that. It really kind of seemed to hit a crotch level too, that uh, level slash. Yeah, and then and then he, for some reason that guy sl sliced on an angle. Clearly that's not how the attack went. up, etc. This fighter gained 63 experience. So it's so worth it. I know. I, it was it was only a few experience points away from being truly nice. What do we have for time here? Oh, we're pretty we got, good. Yeah, we got a lot of time left, actually. I... I Got a really messed up idea of how much time was left in this video. But yeah, guys, go back, uh, advance it frame by frame, check out Poyhan's death pose. It's pretty sweet. Oof. Fingers crossed. Let's this go. is like when playing uh, Final Fantasy for the NES and you would encounter, like, you're trying not to use any healing or any magic. Because in Final Fantasy for the NES, magic worked in a fucking terrible way. We had like... I have like Dungeons and Dragons. We have so... Yeah, but... Okay, so I, let me let me rephrase. In Dungeons and Dragons, magic works in a terrible way. I have so many casts of a spell at level 1 and so many casts of a spell at level 2. So you're trying to get through the first few levels of the the uh, Temple of Fiends at the end without taking damage and without using your resources and you suddenly come across a group of four gas dragons all of which can um, use a multi-hit chance to kill attack and you run away and <laughs> you just really 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 want it to work I've got that feeling for like every single fight here <laughs> I don't think the uh, stakes are quite as high not quite as high. Almost, we ha we have quite. three sc skill shields, and apparently I should have been using them all along. They may have, they may have dropped from combat, and I just didn't notice them. Or because we're in close proximity, we have access to the other party's inventory, and we're like, all right, toss down a skill shield, would ya? I mean, there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to uh, one way past these things. Mm -hmm. We're about a uh, a third of the way through the second page of stuff. Third of the way through the second page of stuff. Are you talking about the fact? Uh, the uh, not the fact. The shrine. Oh, how many pages are there? Four. Okay, I don't know why you said four. Like, four, but that's how we say four in Canada. Or is that like a French thing? Four. <laughs> Four. A. Eh? Drink that potion. I know. I thought I was. Gonna, I was gonna drink it from the other side. I didn't realize. I mean, there's no way this guy kills us. You can either just keep running or kill him. Boyan Yan. Uh, yes, seems do it. This could be the time you cast a spell that does one damage to you in exchange for hurting the other guy, and you've got one hit point when you cast it. We need to get hit by this Joker thing, though, because now we're going to learn it. <gasps> oh. 969. Nice. But that's exactly what we wanted, right? Point on getting hit by Joker. Yep. Now Batman's going to come and avenge him. 
No. Oh. oh, if he gets you twice in a row, you do get dead. Now everyone gets to see that Poyon death post. You were so excited, but I think Poyon might need to be alive. Yeah, I was about to say, we probably drop. need to bring him back. Um... This is kind of wasteful, but... I guess it's worth it because we learned that spell, but normally I wouldn't want to waste an again drop in a regular old combat. No, if we don't have 99 of them when we end the game, uh, it's going to really suck. You know what? Zerfall, we had one, not 99. <laughs> well, they're I not mean, godly trees. As soon as, we, as soon as we merge with the rest of the team, we'll be good. I, you know, I've been, I, I still take guff for having not used enough Metagel on Mass Effect 2. Where there was no way to actually replenish your stock. Let's see. Okay, no again drops in this party's inventory. All right. What do these guys have? I am I am really taking a chance here by making a stand on this. Because it probably turns out we have like 30. No. We used our only again drop. That we have. I feel like we're actual gamers now. <laughs> but now it's like I was like yeah we're playing this like uh, it's a roguelike we're playing in hardcore mood you die it's over we start the whole game over yeah now I know that you saw us use frame state or safe states earlier in the video <laughs> ignore that now I wouldn't mind if you checked <laughs> on how you get more again drops but at the same time yeah we got joker uh we got the choker thing which was our main thing we needed to make sure we did before we got out of here so i call it a win we can't escape um so let's see they cost 800p let's see if we can find where they are the again drop in the japanese they're called again dropu Oh. Grand Graham City after nightfall. Item shop one. Again drops. Okay. <laughs> All right. Got it. Because it was like, oh, they're 800. And I was like, yeah, does that mean it that you. It is. Does that mean. After dark. After dark. Is there a fall after dark? You say, oh, it's, it's 800, because there was a part of me thinking that means that you sell them for 400, and they just backed into the fact that its purchase price would be 800, <laughs> but you can't yeah. purchase them anywhere. So well, I they've definitely done that sort of thing. Don't before. think there's any reason. Um, yep, I was just checking. Yeah. I was just checking. Kimoi seems to be the first place you can buy them before Nightfall. Uh, apparently, spoilers. Either that or we're not. Oh, do you know what? I wonder if we're just never playing the game at the right time that it's nighttime in the game don't go around again okay there's nothing there I just check just i was checking we did it last time and i was like oh no drink your medicine man that medicine it felt like it was medicine mixed with a godly treat almost like god medicine <laughs> and on oh, that point, I was cranking it with ease there. It's <laughs> cranking it with ease. On that note, we're going to call it a video. And when we come back next time, I might just go open that door and see what's on the other side over to the left there. What do you say? Ah. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye. I guess we'll see you again. Drop. Oh, that was a mic drop. <laughs>